Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. If you want to donate to the page, you can. Now, let's just get into it. Now, I was watching the Michigan podcast. I watch I watch a lot of these shows like y'all. I gotta get I gotta get my information and I wanna hear other thoughts and everything like that. Now, Michigan play will play Rutgers this weekend, and I'm not really gonna go over Rutgers stats or anything like that. If we don't beat Rutgers, y'all, if we don't beat Rutgers, it's gonna be a long year. It's gonna be a long year. <laughs> now I try to tell people we we have to play. Our schedule is brutal. We got Iowa, Michigan State, Penn State, Notre Dame, OSU. I think we still play Maryland. We we. We, we we got a tough road. So, this is a make or break. Either we get back on track this, this week and get ready for Iowa. Iowa will hit you in the mouth. And they are a tough team. So, if we don't beat Rutgers, it's going to be a long year, y'all. It's going to be a long year. Now, I'm, I'm just going to run over some things that I think we need to do better and just to just what we need to do and some of the unbelievable things that I'm seeing. Now, let me just start with the defense. Don Brown is running a three, three, five, three down lineman. And he's pulling up the linebackers who are little guys like Jordan Glasgow. I talked about this in my last video it, up to the line. Like he's going to do something. He is too little. He's a walk on, that is about 220, really should be, a, that's safety size. You got him walking up to the line like he's scaring somebody, like he Ray Lewis. Come on. You got him walking up to the line like he's Bobby Wagner or Luke Keekley. He ain't that. What, what, what makes you think you can get away with that in the Big Ten? You think you, 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 you that that conceded where you think you can get away with a three three five in the Big Ten, a power running conference. Most of these teams will run it right down your throat. You can't get away with it. Now, I was watching something on Facebook or something, and somebody said, "Why are they not playing Mozzie Smith and uh, Chris Hinton?" For those of y'all don't know. Those are two freshman D tackles that we that we have on the roster. They're 300 plus pounds. But we got Carlo Kemp and Jordan Glasgow walking up. Kemp is too little. I've talked about this before. He's too small to play D tackle. You let he, he can play DN. He's too little. He's too little. He's too little. You going up against these monster offensive linemen. 270 and you down there by yourself with a 220 guy next to you, you about to get rolled over. You about to get ran over. All game. Thank you. Come again. That's stupid stuff. Me even just remembering that this that he has the nerve to do this. And he got away to he got away with it with Army and we escaped. And he, oh, I guess I can keep doing it. No, Army doesn't have the players. That Wisconsin and these other Big Ten, t Big Ten teams have, you can't get away with that in the Big Ten. Rich Rodriguez tried it. You see why he got out of here? Even though he sometimes he had a good offense, that defense was atrocious. You can't get away with no three three five in the Big Ten. That's just stupid. You can't get away with it. You trying to get away with that? Play those freshmen and see what they got. I'm so man, I'm tired of this dog. I done got on here and start thinking about this. I'm tired of it, man. This man got freshmen. Start playing these young dudes. We the only we the only school in the doggone nation where oh let's let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Wait for what? You ain't developing them worth nothing. Let them play now and learn on the field. Oh, let these dudes get in the game. You can't tell me a big 300-pound young dude is not going to help when we got 270, 280 out there in the middle. I don't care if you play both of them. Them big boys is going to make a difference. 
And if they and if they if they have to earn their stripes uh, on the field, then that's just so be it. But you ain't helping us having them on the sideline. Okay, we if we lose by if we lose by thirty without them, and then we lose by twenty five with them. Okay, I'll I'll take that because they're young. But I, what I can't take is seniors on the field getting dominated. I got seniors on the field getting dominated. Put the young dogs in, see what they can do. Time to give them a chance. But you ain't even giving the defense a chance with that three three five crap. I feel bad for Carlo Kemp got him out there like that. He ain't he ain't that. And y'all dumb enough to let him let him have him out there like that. And then you dumb enough to have Glasgow out there. Dude is a he, he is a safety playing linebacker, basically. You can get away with that stuff against these these FCS and these other teams. Big Ten, Big Ten schedule has started. Let's get real. Let's get real about what we what we think we can do and what we can actually do. All over the field, I see dudes that are too small to pay, to play that that position at a big time school. Brad Hawkins, he's too small to play safety. He's too skinny. Kemp, you right with him. Glasgow, you about right with him too at 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 a at a linebacker. Jordan Lewis don't want to hit. I mean, uh, Lavert Hill don't want to hit. He ready for the NFL. He he wasn't trying to hit nobody. So just that quick, I just named three dudes that are starting. That they're not big enough for their position, and you wonder why you getting manhandled. I noticed. I noticed the first game of the year, Brad Hawkins was arm tackling. And I said it. I would play Jamaric Woods because he he knows how to hit. He's a hitter. He's 6'3", 200 and something. He going to lay that wood. Put some hitters and dudes that are their position size. Now, if you're going to play, if you're going to play small dudes, they need to be fast. They need to have an advantage, something that gives them an advantage. You don't have it. You're just putting these smaller dudes out there and they're getting a slight. He's slightly. Kalik Hudson, another one. You playing this dude, he done got too muscular. And he's 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 messed up the his advantage. His speed and his, his quickness and elusiveness. Agility. He done, he done lost that because he done got too muscular. Somebody tell these dudes when they get in the like you you done got too muscular. Like he can just play that. See, we we with that Viper, we had Jabril Peppers playing the Viper, and we got away with it. We got away with it a lot of the times because he was when when it was a run, that dude came up, boom. That boy came up so fast on the run. Y'all can say what y'all want about Jabril. Go back and watch the film. The film don't lie. The film don't lie. You run a screen or something. To Jabril's side, say goodnight. He's boom. As soon as he sees the plays, he's not thinking. He's not doing anything else. He's, I see ball, get ball. And we got away with it. Them dudes ain't that. I tried to tell people uh, last year, Khalid Hudson ain't Jabril Peppers. Talking about he better than him. Yeah, right. Go watch the film. Go watch the film. But... What do what are you gonna do, Don Brown? Are you gonna play these young dudes and give us a, give that defense a chance, or we, if not, we are gonna get destroyed with that three three five? It, it's a real it's a real possibility that we could win about four or five games this year pulling that defense out there with the with that garbage offense. So that's just what it is. Defense offensively, let me get on the offense now. Okay. Let me start with the, I'm going to start with the offensive line. Offensive line has its mistakes, has its weaknesses. But if your offensive line is bad, it's something simple you can do. Put guys in that can block. Give them more help. Instead of running McQueen on routes, you make him sit back there and block. <laughs> What's the problem? You 
get they coming through? Okay. You you are tight end. I don't care if you put him, I don't care if he's lined up on the line or if he's in the backfield. You 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 going to be blocking, bro. So what? You If your running back can't block, play to two tight ends. Play your play your running back that can block. It's, it's, it, there's ways around it, y'all. Oh, the offensive line is so bad. Get an offensive line help. I saw I saw OSU do it last year. Six, seven blockers every time almost. And if it wasn't, get rid of the ball quick. <laughs> now to my next point, Shea Patterson. He don't see the field worth of crap. I said this last in my last video. I'm not sure if he even uh, knows the plays. Or is he just so so scared out there? He's scared to look from one receiver to another. Cause on on, on even his touchdown plays, I said I said uh, last week he had a dude wide open. Turns out it was it was Hassan Haskins. That's who it was. Wide open. He's scrambling out the pocket. He looking right at the dude. <laughs> he, he running around the edge, scared. His pocket presence and his feel for the pocket, it's all the way gone. So, if you got, I said this before, so I don't like to harp on things I done already said, but he doesn't, you got backs coming out the backfield, they're, they're open. They're open. He don't see them. He act like he don't even know they're going out there. So, this offense the, the defense done picked up this, this team for years on years. That's been the bright spot. When the offense going to pick up some slack for them? When the offense going to help them out? When we get in the shootout, when is the offense going to outscore the other team? Not with Shea. It just ain't going to happen with him, y'all. I mean, the only hope for him is, is if he has a great game with Rutgers, against Rutgers, and... It just continues somehow. But me, honestly, I wouldn't even play, dude. You wouldn't see the field. You will be at the bottom of my depth chart right now. Right now, it, it, when Dylan comes back, he would start. Joe would start against Rutgers. McNamara would be would back him up against Rutgers. Shea would be third string. Only way I would play Shea is if the they just um, the other two pack, uh, quarterbacks have played that bad. Otherwise, you wouldn't see the field. You wouldn't see the field again for me. He don't see the field. He doesn't see the field good enough. And his feel for the pocket is horrible. He wants to be Shay wants to be Johnny Manziel. If you look up Shay's history and who he wanted to be, he wanted to be like Johnny Manziel. But he don't have that type of talent. You can say whatever you want about Manziel. In the pocket, outside of the pocket, he can make the throws. He makes some dumb, dumb, some dumb throws. But he was willing enough to throw it up to Mike Evans. He's that's football IQ. I got a six five receiver out there, six four, six five. Hey, let me. Uh, if I do run out the pocket, I'm throwing it up to him. Or if I'm in the pocket, I'm throwing it up to him. That's my go-to play. Throw it up to my big NFL Pro Bowl receiver. <laughs> Shea ain't even smart enough to do that. You get over here. Sit down. Get right here next to me. Get on a headset. No. He ain't, he ain't got it, y'all. He runs the read bad. He's scared to keep it on the read. You might score a touchdown as wide open as it is for him. He's scared to keep it. Got Charbonnet killed that Army game because he never wanted to keep it. That man had to get 33 carries. That's his fault. I blame Shea. Who's who next? Let's see. He misses open receivers. Receivers wide open. DB falls down against Wisconsin. He don't even see. He throwing in the double coverage because he don't look around. He don't look see the field. He has no ball security. He's going to fumble. If you're a quarterback, you see who's coming. Okay, four guys coming, five guys coming. If you see that those guys aren't in front of you, your peripheral vision. Football, you, great players have peripheral vision. Peripheral vision. 
whether that's safeties, corners, quarterbacks. So they can look downfield, but hey, I'm st I still see one of these DNs is not in front of me. If he's not in front of you, he's behind you, buddy. So you need to step up or get move up in the pocket. He don't do that. He just, <laughs> I got all day. Uh, I got all day. He's just looking downfield. He don't even notice the DN done came around him. That can happen sometimes, but it consistently happens to him because he don't get up in the pocket. He don't step up. He just downfield, downfield. I'm done with Shay. Mil Milton, until Dylan comes back, unless Joe was the ball out. But what am I saying? Harbaugh is probably going to start uh, – Shay anyway. He said he's going to start Shay. Which I don't understand. Even if you 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 still believe in him. This is my thing. If you're going to start him the rest of the season, he's hurt. That oblique injury isn't it's still not healed all the way. And he hurt his shoulder against Wisconsin. Okay, if you value this man that much, why would you start him against Rutgers when we still got the Big Ten, the hardest teams in the Big Ten left still? We still got OSU. We still got Indiana, I think, uh, uh, Michigan State, Penn State, Iowa, Notre Dame. Why would you do that? Wouldn't it be, a, okay, this is, this is a week that I should try to get him healthy since I believe in him for important games. But I guess, I guess he's trying to... Get him some mojo back, but he might end up losing him for the season because he's still hurt. You going, you going. I told telling people this on Facebook. Harbaugh gonna put, end up put getting uh, Shea put on a stretcher. He really is, cause he just keep playing him. He hurt. Sit him down. You don't believe in your other players. You don't believe in your other players. So why would they be, why would they believe in you when you don't even believe in them? You don't give them a chance. You don't give your other quarterbacks a chance. And if you do, you don't really want to give them a wholehearted like a I believe a real I believe in you chance to 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 win games and show you what they can do. Like it takes you too long. And that and and as a football player, when you see your quarterback is garbage, and you know your backups probably can do something, it makes you look at your coach like, what the hell are you doing? Like, dang, I don't... On the sideline, when, when players talk to themselves, to each other, they say, man, I don't know why he, I don't know why he don't play Dylan. Shay trash, bro. Man, Shay trash. I don't know why he ain't playing Joe or, or Dylan, man. They could give us a better shot than Shay. Shay don't play good until the game out of reach. Oh, the game out of reach. Now he throwing darts. He think he Tom Brady. Hey, 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 Shay. Nice. We're down. We're down thirty, bro. We're down thirty-five in in, in the late in the third quarter. Too late. We would we 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 needed that in the first quarter, first half, yo. <laughs> That's just what it is, y'all. But hopefully. Now I'm gonna be now I'm gonna be optimistic. Hopefully, uh hopefully they can get something going, whether that's with Joe or Shay. Hopefully they can. But what they got going on is a identity loss. You you got you built all that hardball, that hardball ball, and you go to the spread, which doesn't make sense why you would go would lose your identity. With the uh, with eye sets, I don't understand. I haven't seen like one any eye sets. I may have saw one the first game on goal line, maybe. But I don't understand why you would lose your identity. Power eye in the eye formation, you always need that in your playbook. I don't understand why you would take that out of the playbook. That was dumb. That was like honestly, that was dumb. You want you can always do spread stuff, but you still want to have the eye formation to just in case. You never know. A team just might be trash like we are this year, stopping the run up the middle, and you, you can just hand it off and run it down their throat. You don't even got to pass because they can't stop it. 
You want to be versatile. versatile. You don't want to be, oh, we only run out the spread. Now you're limited. Now you're uh, giving yourself limitations. Just same thing on defense, Don Brown. Oh, we, we only run man. Now you're limiting yourself. You may need to have a team or a quarterback that can't read the zone. So you just even coming out in zone sets. He don't know what's going on. He's throwing picks. But you want to run man all the time. You limit yourself. You limit your, your upside. You limit your possibilities. I just don't understand why everything has to be drastic with us. Okay, we go to a full spread. No more out power, no more eye sets. No more power eye sets. Okay, we got Don Brown. We run man and that's it. Why do we have to be so drastic? Why we can't just adapt, adapt, add things to the offense, add things to the defense. You don't have to go through drastic changes. You can still do what you do, but add things. I don't get it. But that's all I really got, y'all. I mean, people can try to blame. I blame Shea because you can blame the offensive line somewhat. They haven't played great, but he makes it hard. He makes their job harder. He doesn't help them. When a quarterback gets rid of it fast, when he knows he can't, uh, when he knows his offensive line is is struggling, that helps them. The ball's out. I don't care if he came through the ball's out. I can really. <laughs> ben got rid of it. Receivers, you can't. The receivers, the receivers are still beasts, y'all. So I don't want to hear that. The receivers are still doing their thing. If you just throw it up to them and do that, it is what it is. I ain't even finna go into it. Them dudes is big. When he threw it up to them at the end of the game, they sure was catching it. They sure was dominating the corners. Good coverage. Receivers were just make, making a better play than the corners was because they're bigger and they're better players. It's just the truth. But that's all I got, y'all. We should beat Rutgers. If, if we don't beat Rutgers, we got big problems. But as always, I mean, you hold on. Now, I wore this shirt because I bought it in 2016. And as 2016 has went, this shirt is cracked, and it seems like Michigan has cracked also. And we'll see. We'll see. If we get it, if we get it together, I'll go buy another shirt. If we get, keep getting worse, I guess I'll just keep this one as it is and just watch it crack and, and the letters fade. Like we, we fading away. But as always, like, share, subscribe. If you want to drop a donation, feel free. Go blue.